Hello and welcome to a very cold and white Lisburn Distillery TV. We're here just at Ballyskay um, getting our getting the pitch sorted for Saturday's game against Armagh. So I'm out with uh, my broom. Uh, Colin has a shovel here um, and hopefully by the time we're done everything will be sorted for Saturday. Yes, Colin? Yeah, I yeah? believe that one so, see uh, Yeah, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Can't see any green there, Colin. Oh dear. Look, easy. That's all, that's all we need to do. <laughs> Welcome to Lisburn Distillery TV. Welcome to our weekly review show here at Lisburn Distillery TV. On today's show we'll be looking back at what was a truly amazing draw for the Whites in this season's Irish Cup. We will also be celebrating a milestone birthday from one of our club's backroom staff. And finally we're looking ahead to this week's game against Armagh City in the Premier Intermediate League. Earlier this week, Lydia and I were fortunate enough to be able to attend the fifth round draw of the Tenants Irish Cup competition. And what a draw it proved to be for Lisburn Distillery. Yes, yeah, so the Whites have been given the toughest draw of the round as they will take on Irish League leaders Coleraine up at the Coleraine Showgrounds. Colin, what are your thoughts on that? Massive. Uh, it's an amazing draw to be honest. You know, you want to play the big sides, you're playing the top side in the country at this moment in time. We're top of our division, it's going to be a cracking game. Yes, um, and Coleraine finished as runners up last year. Yep. I think they definitely will have a little bit of unfinished business. Yep. Um, but I think our boys will be wanting to, to end that dream uh, rather swiftly yep. um, in, in a couple of weeks' time. Yep. Um, well, that tie will take place at the Coleraine Showgrounds on Saturday, the 6th of, of, of January. Uh, kickoff will be at 3 pm, but we'll be bringing you more, more details on that in the coming weeks. After the draw on Tuesday, we thought we'd do something a little bit different, and on this occasion, we decided to interview one of the Korean players to see what exactly their take on the game would be. So, with that in mind, Lydia caught up with Martin Smith, their midfielder, and here's what Martin had to say. So, Martin, the draw in there, we've, ju we've just finished, and you've been given a home tie against our very own Lisburn yeah. Distillery. How are you feeling about the draw? Um, we're confident, um, but we, we, we won't be going into it with any complacency or, or underestimating any, any team. So. It didn't matter who we, we pulled out today, we're, we're going with the same mindset of, of winning the game and getting in the draw for the next round and obviously getting a home tie we're delighted with. You, you've you come over to, to Korean quite quite recently from, from England, so the Whites are a wee bit of an unknown qu quantity for yourself. Will you be doing your homework in the next couple of weeks? Uh, yeah, they, they are a little bit, but of course I will be, and, and, and along with the whole team and the manager and the staff, we, we're detailed in our approach and... We um, we pay we pay serious attention to every team we play each week. So I'm learning about the league and the country and every team as as each week goes by. So we'll be we'll, we will be preparing the right way um, and we'll be ready for the challenge. Right. Well, we definitely as a club are looking forward to it. We haven't played Korean in in, in a few years. Yeah. Um, so our our guys will definitely be be, be relishing this yeah, and, be, yeah. and being up for it. And I'm sure that, that you guys will as well. Yeah. Uh, we look forward to, to seeing you then on yeah. the on, on the sixth of January, and hopefully we can cause a bit of an upset. Yeah. Sorry, Martin, but no. you know that, that that's what we want here. No. Um, you know that we're going to be up for it, yeah. and we're looking forward no, to it. Definitely. Look, thanks very much for yeah. speaking to us today, Thank and all the best for the rest yeah, of the season. You too. You This week sees a special milestone birthday for one of the key personnel at the club. Yes indeed folks, George O'Boyle reaches the grand old age of 50 years old. George was here as a younger player and of course he's now back as part of the management team with Colin McElwain. Can you believe he's 50 Lydia? Well not really, I think when he came here last year he looked dead young and then mm -hmm. the stress <laughs> of um, being in charge of a football club mm -hmm. so we got to, no yeah. I'm only joking George, I'm only joking, but he, he hasn't had a hair in his head in about no. a decade I reckon. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> he did actually tell me last week uh, about the chance when he was playing here actually as a player, he had a chance of signing for, for Chelsea and for some reason it fell through but uh, I just wish he'd come back now and try and re-sign him. 
No, it, George, you dodged a bullet there. Okay, no one wants to go and play for Chelsea mm. anyway, so don't worry about that one. Yeah, um, <laughs> well, on, on Saturday night past there, it was the Lisburn Distillery Players Christmas Night Out. Um, some of the boys took some time out of the celebrations to, w to give George their own birthday message. Happy birthday, George. <laughs> Happy birthday, George. Happy birthday, George. Can't believe you're 60. Like, you're looking well for a 60 year old. Remember that half well in scored against Motherwell? Keep her lit, son. <laughs> Happy birthday, George. You're yeah, letting me. Happy birthday, George. <laughs> Hope you have a cracker with the boys out right? on a good night out. <laughs> Happy birthday, George. <laughs> All the best. <laughs>